Most modern substations have automatic synchronising equipment and manual synchronising equipment. Here's a typical synchronising relay. We call the relays that synchronise automatically check synchronising relays. Check synchronising relays are used when we are trying to close the circuit remotely, either from the main network control centre or from the substation control room PC. When the remote closed signal is issued, the check synchronising relay checks the voltage, frequency and phase angle for networks A and B. If they are within the tolerances set inside the relay, a closed signal will be sent to the circuit breaker. We also provide manual synchronising equipment in the substation control room, so that the engineers can close the circuit breakers locally. To allow them to do this, we provide a frequency meter which shows the frequency on both networks, a voltmeter that shows the voltage on both networks, and a synchroscope that shows the phase angle difference between the two networks. The operator watches all three meters carefully, and when they think they're close enough, they manually close the circuit breaker. Manual synchronizing is normally used as a backup, when networks are difficult to synchronize, or the check sync relays are out of action. Using synchroscopes and manual synchronizing equipment takes a trained eye as the three parameters can all be moving at different speeds. In most cases, you will find that the frequency and voltage of the two networks are about the same, and the tricky one to match is the phase angle. If the operator doesn't get it quite right, a loud bang will be heard from the circuit breaker as it closes, as power flows across the contacts.